before the rise of the Aztec Empire, central Mexico was already home to advanced civilizations. The Olmecs, 1200 BCE, were one of the earliest Mesoamerican civilizations, known for their colossal stone heads, sophisticated city planning, and monumental architecture. They laid the foundation for other cultures such as the Zapotecs, Maya, and later the Toltecs, contributing religious, cultural, and agricultural innovations. Artifacts from these ancient cultures show advanced knowledge in astronomy, architecture, and agriculture. For instance, evidence of early maize cultivation, temple complexes, and ceremonial sites demonstrates the high degree of social organization that later influenced the Aztec Empire. The Aztec Empire was primarily built by the Mexica, a nomadic group that migrated from northern Mexico. According to Mexica legends, they were guided by their patron god, Huitzilopochtli, who told them to settle in a place where they would see an eagle perched on a cactus devouring a snake. This location, which they believed to be divinely chosen, was on an island in Lake Texcoco, where they founded their capital, Tenochtitlan, in 1325. Initially, the Mexica were a small and marginalized group, paying tribute to more powerful neighboring city-states such as Azcapotzalco. However, they gradually grew stronger through alliances, military prowess, and strategic marriages with noble families. The real formation of the Aztec Empire began in 1428, when the Mexica, led by Itzcoatl, formed the Triple Alliance with two other city-states, Texcoco and Tlacopan. Together, these three cities successfully rebelled against Azcapotzalco, marking the start of the empire. This alliance enabled them to dominate the Valley of Mexico and surrounding regions. Under Itzcoatl's leadership, the Mexica began to expand their influence through warfare and diplomacy. Conquests were often driven by the desire for tribute, resources, food, and labor from conquered peoples, and captives for religious sacrifices, as human sacrifice played a central role in maintaining cosmic order and appeasing the gods in Aztec religion. Tenochtitlan, the capital, quickly became one of the most powerful and advanced cities in the world at the time, reaching its peak population of around 200,000 to 300,000 people. Located on an island in Lake Texcoco, it was connected to the mainland by causeways and was famous for its floating gardens, Chinampas, which made agriculture highly productive. This supported the empire's growing population. Aztec society was hierarchical, with nobles, pipiltin, and commoners, masualtin, but also included slaves and serfs. At the top was the Tlatoani, the emperor, who was considered both a political leader and a religious figure, responsible for mediating between the gods and the people. Below him was a class of warriors, priests, and skilled artisans. The Kalpuli system organized local governance and land distribution. Religiously, the Aztecs worshipped a pantheon of gods, but Huitzilopochtli, the god of war and the sun, and Tlaloc, the god of rain, were particularly important. Human sacrifice, particularly of war captives, was a key part of Aztec ritual, believed to sustain the gods and ensure the world's survival. At its height under rulers such as Moctezuma, 1440-1469, and Ahuitzotl, 1486-1502, the empire expanded far beyond the Valley of Mexico. The Aztecs ruled much of central and southern Mexico through a vast network of tributary states, with their influence extending to the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific coast. The Aztec economy was based on tribute, warfare, and trade. The Pochteca, a merchant class, played a crucial role in long-distance trade and intelligence gathering. Tribute from conquered regions provided the empire with luxury goods like jade, cacao, feathers, and precious metals, which were central to both Aztec culture and religious offerings. In 1519, everything began to change when Hernán Cortés, a Spanish conquistador, arrived on the shores of the Yucatán Peninsula and made his way toward Tenochtitlan. 
Initially, the Aztecs, under the leadership of Moctezuma II, welcomed the Spanish as potential allies or even as representatives of divine figures, possibly confusing Cortes with the return of the god Quetzalcoatl, according to later interpretations. However, tensions quickly escalated. Cortes formed alliances with the Tlaxcalans, bitter enemies of the Aztecs, and marched on Tenochtitlan. The combination of military confrontation, the introduction of European diseases like smallpox and internal divisions within the empire severely weakened the Aztecs. In 1520, Moctezuma II was killed, either by the Spanish or his own people, during a revolt. His successor, Quilahuac, briefly held the empire together, but he died of smallpox within months. The final emperor, Cuauhtémoc, led a valiant defense, but the combination of disease, superior Spanish weaponry, including guns and horses, and the betrayal by the Aztecs' former allies brought the empire to its knees. In 1521, after a brutal siege, the Spanish and their indigenous allies captured Tenochtitlan. The once great city was left in ruins, and the Aztec empire was effectively destroyed. The fall of the empire marked the beginning of Spanish colonization in Mexico and the broader destruction of indigenous cultures throughout the Americas. Although the empire fell, the legacy of the Aztecs lives on. Much of Mexican culture today, including language, Nahuatl, food, maize, beans, chocolate, and festivals, such as Day of the Dead, has roots in Aztec traditions. Modern Mexicans often view the Aztec civilization as a symbol of their national identity and cultural heritage. Artifacts such as temples, pyramids, and codices, written records, continue to provide valuable insights into their civilization. The Aztec calendar, agricultural systems, and the sheer architectural marvel of Tenochtitlan have left an indelible mark on the world, contributing to our understanding of human achievements in pre-Columbian America. The rise and fall of the Aztec Empire tell a powerful story of ingenuity, adaptation, and eventual conquest. From their humble beginnings as wandering settlers, the Mexica rose to create one of the most powerful and sophisticated empires of the pre-Columbian Americas. However, with the arrival of European forces and devastating diseases, the empire's strength crumbled, giving way to a new era of colonial rule. Nevertheless, the legacy of the Aztecs endures, continuing to shape the identity and culture of modern Mexico.